Hello, I'm Johnny and welcome back. So this is just a short video to show me using this um, fixative for oil pastels. It's a Sennelier brand. It cost me £18, including posting packaging on eBay. So I think it was about £20-odd on Amazon. Um, I recently done a landscape using Sennelia. Um, I have got other oil pastels, so I'll be trying it out on there when I mess around with them. But um, I heard that you've got to, when you do your picture or whatever, you've got to leave it for a few weeks before you apply this. But it doesn't say anything on here, that's what you've got to do. But it has been a, a week or two um, since I've done the picture. But uh, what I've noticed is, I've kept it in um, here, just here, because I didn't dare uh, put it in a, one of those poly pockets or between some paper in case it's smudged. And I've got a cat, and I mean, it's not like he's been sitting on it, but it's got, can you say, I don't know if you can see, hairs, cat hairs go everywhere. And I hope that it's not stuck here. I'll have to see if I can blow it off. Here's a few uh, other bits on. I think I might oh, I'd end, uh, go over with a paintbrush just in case it smudges anything. But I'll just do it lightly. But there's like dust particles on it and like little ziggy hairs. Yeah, well, it seems to be coming off all right with the paintbrush, but uh, I am getting a bit of pigment on the paintbrush. But what can you do? <sighs> Just give it a... <sighs> I think I've got all the dust off it. And I don't know what that is. But, um, I mean, I am proud of this. And it's just a shame for it to uh, get ruined. So, I mean, Sennelia is a good brand. So I assume that it will go on cheaper pastels. But that will be a an experiment. So I'll just read the instructions on here. I was just reading the warning signs earlier and it sounds very scary. No naked flames or anything, but I won't be cooking and I don't smoke, so... Um, it says, it's made from a vinyl resin and alcohol base. This totally transparent fixative leaves a clear and glossy film to protect oil pastels against dust and smearing. For best results, apply in several light coats rather than one heavy application. And then you've got to turn the can upside down after use and press the button for a few seconds for the gas to escape. But it doesn't say uh, what distance uh, you've got to hold the can away from your artwork or if you've got to prop your artwork up and spray it or lay it down. I don't know. But um, I think I'll pause you for a second and just go in my bathroom and just spray it in my bath just for a tester. And it doesn't say if you've got to shake it or anything, so I best not do with that. Back again. And I would advise not sniffing it. I don't know why I did. <laughs> Oof. I sprayed it on the back of my hand in the bathroom and it's... um. It reminds me of hairspray. It's like sticky, well tacky, not overly. And it's like still wet now. And I was just so tempted to sniff it. And oh God, high as a kite. But it does say on the can, don't sniff it. <laughs> and it's, um, I don't know if you can see. Start to dry. Just a little bit tacky, not overly. So, 
Oh, fingers crossed. Um, I don't know whether to prop it up here and spray it or down from a level. Oh, look. I wish the instructions were more clearer. Um, I think I'll just try it. Because uh, I watched a video of Annie Claxton and she got some. Not the Sennelia brand, but another brand. And it said you had to hold it, I think it was 18 inches away. And spray it at uh, this angle. Um, but I don't know what to do. Should I just risk it and go for it? Put it like this first. Oh, and it won't stay, so... Oh, oh my God. Oh, it really, absolutely reeks. And I'm feeling lightheaded. So I would suggest you, if you can, do this outside. Oh, my God. Oh, and it's all sort of running down. Maybe I should have done it uh, when it was laying flat. Well, it said it's matte, so... I hope that doesn't show. Whew, I'm going to open the window. Whew. I might just go over this bit where it's run. Block me first. I'm going to do it at a distance. Right, on my table. Right, so I will let that dry and then in my next video I will, oh sorry I've got me, I've got my nose down my t-shirt, um, in my next video I will show you the results. Because I don't know how long it's going to dry and I'm not going to sit here and buy a rigid by waiting for it to dry. <sighs> but uh, the surface of it, scroll in, is very wet. Reminds me of watercolour. But I only sprayed little bits. Um, so I'll let that dry and then I'll get back to it. It's this bit that I don't like when I held it up here and it's like run down. Um, but maybe that'll just dry without showing the runny bits. Oh, <clears throat> yes, so uh, I might just pass out and not do another video. Um, and I haven't got a gas mask, plenty of masks, like, um, Johnny signing out. See you bye.